So the first thing that I, I noticed, and that's also, I, I don't talk about efficiency really, but if you want, if you are in an anxious sort of state, you also ask basically for efficiency because most of the people had suffered for months or years on end and they want sort of an end to that. So yeah. in, 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 in therapy, if they, if people come into my practice, I look first at how we cope with it now, because you cannot dig into the root cause of anything if you cannot cope with it now, because they're in like, some people are really in survival. They're trying to survive day by day. And then you cannot, um, if you struggle with sleep, but they would just most of the time impact it as well because you have nightmares or you have that sort of anxiety or if you have right. panic attacks, if you get into a car, then you want to fix your daily life being in the present first. So you need to sort of these at hand coping tools, which I really like okay. working with your whole body and you want something that you can ground yourself first. So having okay. that, that skill set and then the next step is which starts sort of like simultaneously, but you want to create that safety net for yourself first so that you can you know, re rely on yourself and then you dig into the root cause of it. And that something that can really help you is already starting with something practical and having a morning routine, a very simple one, but maybe different to what you're used to. Because most people, for example, they wake up in the morning and the first thing they do is they take their phone. And I used to do the same. It's just because it's a nice habit. It's just like, okay, it's also my alarm on it. But for someone who has anxiety or has a panic disorder, it can be a severe trigger. Because already what happens is you, you are on the screen and all of your thoughts is kind of like switched on. They're all switched on at the same time. Like all the worries, the emails, you're like, oh God, news. There's also the negative news, who, for example, on the pandemic or in general, mm -hmm. what happens in the world. Right. So there is, and if you're already in that alert state, and a lot of people wake up then already feeling anxious, having this flattery feeling and like, okay, and then there's the stress mm -hmm. to get ready and I have to maybe have a call by Zoom call. So having a morning routine can really work. Put your phone aside. In the first 15 minutes, get yourself like this completely traditional, you know, clock. Like I had it like you know, 30 years ago, basically just by the window or, you know, or cuddle up on a sofa, do some five minutes meditation, sit in silence. That in itself gives you a sense of calm. And those five, 10 minutes, this is like a red line that goes throughout your whole day. Mm -hmm. That makes, if you start your day in a calm way, you will see if you keep on doing it, it creates a form of a habit. Yeah. And you you will have a, a better day in general. That is already well, something that makes a big difference. It is this your relief. So set yourself yeah. time 15 minutes before. So you have literally 15 minutes to just do something you love. It can be your shower. For someone who has already that anxiety feeling, I always recommend, and it really, really works. And it's 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 crazy, but it does. If you if you can, and you, if you live in a cold place, but you also if you know we live in a warm place, mornings are most of the time not extremely hot. Otherwise, please use some cold water or something. But if you just open the window and allow mm. fresh air yeah. and have your morning tea, morning coffee, or whatever you do, like just five minutes by the window, mm -hmm. that makes such a difference. I can tell it from my own experience, but I can actually just to say from, from my clients, they said, if yeah. I do this regularly, it becomes a, a nice routine, but my anxiety is right away, like, not as extreme as it was. I work very well with, like, anything that's physical or with my senses. Because I always, when I had an anxiety or panic attack, I needed something. I couldn't just fight it with a thought and just be like, yeah, I just, that's just, you know, a thought. It's impossible. Right. So I needed something and I researched it and I, I went into all the uh, bits and pieces of it of what can I do because I'm also totally, at least I'm not a doctor or anything, but I'm not a, not a fan of taking medication because I always think it's a short-term fix. Mm. Um, it helps, of course, a lot of people, but um, for me, it wasn't the option. So and I thought, okay, lavender, that could be something. I researched it. 
that helps and has similar effect like an anxiety medication. And if you apply it on your pulse point and you can actually take it everywhere. So you have it in an oil roller and it should be good quality one, but it helped me so much. Like every time when I was anxious, I was like integrating it together with a breathing technique, just two minutes. And I felt oh. like, okay, relief. And I, I, mm -hmm. I personally like it in my morning routine. I thought, okay, lavender, that could be something I researched it that helps and has similar effects like an anxiety medication. And if you apply it on your pulse point and you can actually take it everywhere. So you have it in an oil roller and it should be good quality one, but it helped me so much. Like every time when I was anxious, I was like integrating it together with a breathing technique, just two minutes. And I felt like, okay, relieved.